Have you ever thought like, wow? Hey yo, what's going on? Accent challenge. AZ, let's go. You heard? <clears throat> Bacon, egg, and cheese. Water. Right, so today I'm going to show you how I create this um, water caustic uh, surface in After Effects. Uh, this is going to look like sometimes when you uh, look at the bottom of a pool uh, when you're under the water or like you're in a helicopter somewhere. And it's, it's not like I've been in a, in a helicopter, but like yeah, you're in a helicopter and you look down into, into the water. If you know what I mean. And yeah, it's like this movement of the, the waves of the water just moving around and it's all an after effect. And I'm going to show you how head over to the layer and create a new solid. I'm going to call this water. Uh, the color over here doesn't matter. It's going to be any, any color you want. Right, for, so for this layer, I'm going to put in a fractal noise effect. And yeah, this is sort of the basis, the granddaddy of all the texture needs in after effects. Uh, put inside one single effect and yeah, I really like it. It's like the babushka of texturing. For the fractal type, uh, you're gonna have to put in strings and noise type. I'm gonna put in linear. I'm gonna play around with the uh, uh, brightness and contrast a little bit. I usually leave my as like contrast at like uh, 135, maybe brightness up a little bit, maybe 20 around here. And then I'm gonna animate the evolution of the uh, texture. Uh, I'm gonna alt click the stopwatch next to evolution and type in time uh, star 200. I don't know why After Effects preview is just did that. It just went to the end of the preview uh, preview range and then just roll back again. That's pretty annoying. But yeah. Okay. Also, an important step is that I kind of want to uh, invert the uh, alpha of the texture as well. So the uh, black is going to be white and white is going to be black. And now we're going to end up with these uh, strings over here, sort of string textures surrounded by the blurry, noisy edges. And let's play it back again. Now our job is to shape this into looking like our intended water surface. And so I always, I always think of this process as like, you know, one of those Renaissance sculptors and they always start out their sculptures with like a slab of stone or marbles, I don't know. And they always say that uh, spiritually their job uh, is to look for the sculpture within that uh, tap of stones by chiseling away for a very long period of time uh, to you know to uncover that uh, sculpture. So apparently according to this website it was a quote by Michelangelo himself uh, because I was such a dickhead I didn't bother to do any research when I say things. But yeah the quote goes like this the sculpture is already complete within the marble block before I start my work uh, it is already there. I just have to chisel away the superfluous material. I think it's also sort of the same when I think about working on this type of thing uh, with a fractal noise. I'm gonna have to find the water within the texture in here somewhere using one of the uh, effects that we've already got. Before I move on to the next step, make sure everything looks good. I think the most uh, important property that we're gonna revert back on is the trans transform module over here. So you can disable your form scaling, scale up the width a little bit, and also scale down the height, like so. Now here's where the uh, magic is gonna happen. I'm gonna put in a fast box blur effect. I'm gonna blur it up just a little bit, uh, just enough that we can still see the white and the black value over here, sort of uh, co co-joining each other like this. I I think it's good that the edges of the strings over here have the blurry stroke around them because whenever they move around it looks like they're slightly touching each other uh, when it's blurred up like this. So magic time. Vector blur. Put it in. Uh, drag the amount up just a little bit like so. You can still see the white edges around here. That's good. That's good enough. I'm gonna drag the preview resolution down. It's Getting pretty hard on my computer. Now it's looking like some sort of insects over here. I'm gonna drag up the blur radius and 
and as you, as you do that it has turned into this the white values the white gaps in between of the textures has been turned into you know when the waves clashes into each other they have this sort of effect around them just reflecting the uh, reflecting the light uh, above it maybe sunlight like so uh, it's looking really good gonna drag the vector blur up a little bit more turn up the turn up the fast box blur a little bit and then I'm gonna put in a levels effect you can find the levels effect under color correction now we're gonna do something in order to drag in the uh, white value a little bit more and drag up the black value uh, up so we can hide a little bit of those details underneath I'm just gonna scale it down a little so maybe you can see more of the details. No, no, okay. I'm gonna drag this down here so we can hide a little bit of those uh, white textures within it and then drag up the fast blocks or fast blocks, fast box blur value. Uh, that is starting to look pretty good. <laughs> it's like a dreamy scene at night by the pool. I don't have a pool, I'm poor, but yeah, you know, if you're rich. If you're rich while you're watching this video if you're rich so as you can see everything is sort of blurred up a little bit over here we're not we're not seeing some details that we're supposed to be seeing over here it's, it's looking like we're looking at everything uh, through a lens and so in order to sharpen those part up a little bit what we can do is actually put in another vector blur on the on the lineup and then drag the amount up a little and as you can see, it's compressing the white value, but also giving us back, giving us back some of that uh, details around the edges of the fractals. And so it's starting to look more like a water caustic effects. Uh, the second vector blur I'm putting at uh, 25. I wish I can preview it for you guys on the spot, but it's way too heavy for that. So I'm just gonna put it down to maybe third, a third of what the actual resolution is and replay it from the top. But yeah, as you can see, it's, pretty, it's starting to look pretty good. One side effects of having this second vector blur in is that it's just starting to lose some of that uh, connections when the fractals, when the lines are touching each other. And that's why we're gonna have to play around a little bit to see more of those details in this before it starts to look a little bit elasticy. One way we can get around that is to you know maybe duplicate this fast box blur effect over here. I'll get fast box blur two and then put it uh, right after the levels, just before the vector blur effect, the second vector blur, and then push the fast box blur down a little bit to maybe eleven, and then turn up the vector blur even more, like so. Yeah, I like this. If anything, you can always duplicate this uh, sort of combination over here. And, and put them to the end of the line over here. I feel like the more you do this, the sort of more refined, the more well-defined the line is gonna be. Like so. Yeah, now it gives us a sort of a very mysterious look. I like that a lot. Lastly, I'm gonna put in a sort of curve effect. So we can extract out ourselves some of those uh, values. I'm gonna drag out the contrast a little bit. Maybe save some of that white value and drag down the contrast to keep the uh, keep the other values down, uh, toned down a little bit more, like so. And now we have some proper white values here. You know, now that we have our sort of basic look of the water caustic, we can always go back and, and change up some of the values so that more stuff uh, comes through for the effects. Now, now, for example, I want to show have more water caustics going on uh, in the screen. You can drag down the scale a little bit like this. Also, drag down the height. And yeah. Uh, 64, 48 right there, and then I'm going to decrease the uh, blur radius. This blur over here is pretty important, as uh, how it's sort of dictating uh, what sort of uh, the amount, the, and the intensity of the acoustic that's going to come through. And now we have a wider view of the uh, bottom of the pool, so to speak. 
and I want to drag up some of the white value even more still while trying to suppress the underneath value drag up, maybe drag up the scale a little bit until it looks right unfortunately this part is fully experimental I like how this edges over here from the vector blur kind of comes out way too apparent so I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag that vector blur down a little we drag the uh, initial blur up to maybe 26 yeah that's looking good yeah, that's looking neat. Make sure you go back and forth to the full and not full resolution to see if there is any uh, anything that sticks out to you that you don't want, and then you can remedy that by playing play around with the fast box and vector over here, vector blurs over here. And you can also play around with these ones to get like a different sort of looks. If you want less details? You can drag up the blur like this. Now we're going to find a way to calm this in. I'm going to drag this water caustic effect over here to this icon. I'm going to put that in its own composition and I'm going to create a new layer, new solid. This is going to be our uh, bottom of the pole thing. Make it uh, blue, sort of bluish, summer vibe, something like that. Uh, drag it underneath and then for the water caustic uh, layer, I'm going to put uh, the blending mode to add. Boom, and now you got the... It's like a kind of cool, I'm gonna put it to full and see what's going on with the texture, make sure everything is good. The texture is good. Yep, is it good? Very good. I just realized that this name is water caustic. No, it's not. It's supposed to be the pool. And now what I'm gonna do is uh, duplicate this layer, the water caustic layer. As you can see, it turned up a little brighter. That's very good and also duplicate the water caustic layer in this tab over here create a water caustic 2 I'm gonna replace the, uh, the second layer in the line of the composition with the second uh, water caustic that we just created so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna click on the water caustic 2 hold on hold and drag this water caustic 2 to this uh, bottom layer bottom water caustic uh, release everything and then now it's has been replaced also with the blending mode still intact pretty cool and then I'm gonna jump into this water caustic layer I'm gonna adjust sort of adjust the seating of the uh, the fractals a little bit so that we get a little bit of different uh, different uh, we get a bit of uh, I just got mesmerized by my own so that we get we get a sort of different look. Uh, we're gonna go for something a little bit uh, a wider view of the pool, verse that has more details that has more wave clashing into each other. And I just saw some reference of the water caustics, and it looks like that. there seems like there are multiple layers of the fractals uh, stacked on top of each other. So you know, I, I I thought that that looked kind of cool, and I you know maybe you can try and replicate that and. Uh, and here as well, uh, maybe a lesser, a lighter part of it. Much, much lighter. Let's see how it looks uh, to the whole thing. Yep, I think that's good enough. And for the water caustic number two, I'm gonna drag down the opacity to about. Um, I don't want to get picky with this. Uh, Eighty-five percent. Yeah, 85. The, maybe the second layer of the water caustic is still too strong. Maybe you can drop it down to something like 30 or something. And also, you can try and drag, drag down the uh, upper layer a little bit more. Maybe put it only to 80, 82 something. 79, something not, something not too strong. Oh man, that's beautiful. <laughs> I'm not saying this just because I made it a sight. This is so relaxing to look at But when I put it in full resolution It's just coming out too strong So I'm gonna also put it down to 50, maybe 69 Beautiful number The water caustic layer at the bottom I'm gonna put in a Try a little bit of blur Where is it? Fast box blur Works fine Drag it up to maybe 2 and as you can see, it's already softened that layer a little bit here. 
sort of perspective compared to the first one. I'm just gonna keep it uh, soft too. Nice, so. God, this is beautiful. I miss summer. Summer's the best time. Yeah, and that's it, guys. That's pretty much it. Taking one last look of it, I'm thinking I'm gonna drag down the opacity of the bottom layer even more, maybe 15, and just have you know, a slight, some slight details of it poking out. It's a bummer that I, it's so heavy that I cannot preview any further for you guys, but you get the idea. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Bye. -bye.